Hello, hello everyone, I'm Justin, and welcome to another episode of Tell Me About. Today's episode, things with scales. Now I'm not talking about the scales that you stand on at the doctor's office or in your home that tell you how much you weigh. No, I'm talking about scales that Oh, sorry, uh, I was just thinking, my arm has skin on it. And it was itchy, so I scratched it. But then I started thinking, you and I have skin covering our bodies. But what if we were covered in scales instead? We'd probably look pretty different. Huh. I actually think that looks pretty awesome. You know, some animals are covered entirely in scales. So let's learn about some of these animals and find out what scales really are. Fish have scales. Can you see the scales covering this fish's body? Let's take a closer look. You know, what are scales really? Well, scales are hard little plates that overlap and overlap and overlap with each other. Some scales are actually made out of the same material that our fingernails are made out of. And just like how our skin protects our insides and keeps them inside, scales help an animal in many different ways. So fish have scales covering their bodies. Their scales are actually made of the same material that our teeth are made out of. These scales bend as the fish swims and darts through the water. The scales also protect the fish from enemies and prickly things. They're like a shield or a suit of armor around the fish's body. Some fish even have scales that help them blend into their surroundings so that bigger fish can't find them and eat them. Can you see the fish hiding here? Scales help a fish move through the water. But for another animal, scales protect it from water. Snakes. Their scales keep water from getting into their bodies when they're caught in the rain or sliding over puddles. And speaking of sliding, a snake's scales bend and twist to help it slide along the ground. Plus, they protect it from when they're going over hot, hot sand or prickly pine needles or rough rocks. Some snake scales also help them blend in with their surroundings. Can you see the snake in this image? Ah, oh, look how the color of its scales blends in with the dry grass and twigs on the ground. I've got a question for you. When you grow and get bigger and taller, what happens to your skin? Does it grow too and keep on covering your body? Or, does it peel off, unzipping like a jacket, revealing a whole new layer underneath? I really hope you said the first one, because if you could peel a whole layer off your skin, I'd say you're from another planet. <laughs> but get this, unlike our skin, as a snake gets bigger and bigger, its skin stays the same size. So eventually, it becomes too small for the snake's body, and off it comes. You can see it here. This white part is the old layer of scales coming off the snake's body, revealing the new layer of scales underneath. This right here is just the old skin that came off the snake. There's no snake in there. It's just the skin. Huh. Like snakes, other reptiles have scales too. Do you know what kind of reptile this guy is? It's a crocodile. Ooh, wow, look at the scales on this guy. He's got quite the suit of armor. The scales on a crocodile are hard and bony, and they don't really overlap like other scales on other animals. These kinds of scales are called scutes. Do you know of another reptile that also has scales called scutes? That's right, turtles. Check out the scutes on this turtle shell. Like crocodiles, turtle shells are covered with hard plates called scutes. Plus, these scutes help protect the turtle, like a shield or a coat of armor. You know, scutes are actually made of the same type of material as a bird's beak, 
or a sheep's horns, or even, as we mentioned earlier, your own fingernails. Oh, what's that sound mean? Joke time! Oh, I can hear you. Joke time! That's right, it's joke time. Are you ready to hear another one of my brilliant jokes? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Why are fish so easy to weigh? Because they come with their own scales! Okay, 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 I got another one, I got another one. What do you get when you mix a crocodile and a rooster? A crocodoodle do! <laughs> oh, oh, I crack myself up. Oh. Whoa! What is this amazing looking creature? This, my friends, is a pangolin. Pangolins live in the hot deserts of Asia and Africa. They slurp up ants and other insects with their long tongues. Now, pangolins aren't reptiles, like crocodiles or turtles. And they're not fish either. No, a pangolin is a mammal. Yes, that's right, a mammal with scales. Most of a pangolin's body is covered with scales. And it's easy to see how a pangolin's scales will help protect it from animal and ant bites and cuts and bruises and all of those sorts of nasty things it might encounter. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at an insect with scales. Yes, some insects have scales too. See these scales right here? Can you guess what it is we're looking at? This is a super close up look at a butterfly's wings. That's right, the wings of butterflies and moths are made up of teeny tiny thin little scales. And they weigh almost nothing, so they help the butterfly to fly. Can you imagine if a butterfly had the same kind of scales as a crocodile? <laughs> I don't think it'd be able to move. The scales of a butterfly reflect light and change colors and help it blend in with its surroundings. This helps the butterfly stay safe and hidden from birds and lizards and other animals that might want to eat it. I had a great time talking with you today about things with scales. And next time you're outside or at the zoo, why don't you try to see how many different kinds of animals with scales that you can find? Now you know that even if the scales are a little different from animal to animal, they'll always do their job of keeping that animal safe and protected, as well as helping them move around. So how'd you like this video on a scale of one to 10? Get it, get it, scale? Oh, it, ah, forget it. I'll see you next time. And remember to always be clever.